stealthy hunters, ambush experts, high-speed killers. Cats have an armory of precision weapons. They're highly specialized predators and confirmed carnivores. Add the sharpest teeth and longest canines, and cats are perfectly built for the kill. are the blueprint for the perfect killing machine. They're some of the most graceful hunters in the world. Cats have the ultimate anatomy. They're designed for killing. Precision eyesight means these feline hunters can pinpoint prey on the horizon, in the thick of the jungle, or in the dark. Ears work independently, picking up the smallest sounds. Super sensitive whiskers detect the slightest air currents, so cats can feel their way through the forest or the darkest night. They can even sense the moment the prey stops breathing. Cats' jaws are among the strongest of all carnivores. Short snaps, domed skulls, and massive jaw muscles help them crush and suffocate their victims. Their teeth are also built to kill. Oversized canines are like daggers stabbing into the prey's neck. Every cat's canines are precisely shaped to fit between the vertebrae of their normal prey, prying them apart and severing the spinal cord. Strong back teeth slice flesh from bone. The cat's remarkable tongue also comes into play. Covered in rows of rough bumps called papillae, it can even scrape hair off hides and meat off bones. Cat's huge wardrobe of coat designs provide the perfect camouflage, disrupting their outlines, breaking up their shape, and helping them blend into the background. Highly flexible backbones give cats maximum stride length for the chase or for superb aerial maneuverability. Their tails act as counterbalances on flimsy branches, or as rudders when maneuvering at top speed. Strong rear leg muscles enable cats to run fast and leap after prey. Cats' long hind limbs power pounces and leaps. Razor-sharp claws are multi-use. They can be running spikes, branch grippers, or flesh rippers. Stalking, jumping, pouncing, or sprinting. Hunting alone or together. Cats are highly specialized, and each has their own mode of attack.
no predators in sight, these Namaqua doves peck for seeds in the desert. They're well kitted out to detect danger. Without turning their heads, doves keep watch through an astonishing 300 degrees. But there's one major flaw. Only 30 degrees of this is sharp. Close by, perfectly camouflaged, lies one of Africa's most acrobatic killers. Doves are super sensitive to sounds that humans can't hear. They detect noises as low as 0.1 of a hertz, over 80,000 hertz lower than we can, so they could easily pick up on the wildcat's slightest movement. If the hunter hidden among the rocks so much as twitches, the doves will take off. presses its body to the ground. Camouflaged, motionless, it avoids detection. Only those with the very sharpest vision could spot this hidden killer as it lies in ambush. The wildcat points its ears forwards, listening. Its eyes are fixed on a dove's every move. Taking a dove in flight requires planning, precision, and speed. The African wildcat truly is a feline gymnast. Most cats are expert at jumping, but this one takes leaping to the limit. Lying in wait, the cat locks on to its chosen target. It pulls its hind paws back, transferring its weight onto its powerful rear legs and springs. Flexible vertebrae allow the wildcat to right itself in midair. It moves its head first, then its body follows. It always lands on its feet. Hunting doesn't get more acrobatic than this. Back arched, head down, legs pulled up close to its body, it snatches the dove in its jaws. In the air, clutching its victim, the cat corrects itself. Its shock-absorbing limbs take the impact as it hits the ground. The wildcat relaxes and spreads its legs wide. This increases its cross-sectional area and slows down its descent, just like a parachute. This perfect demonstration shows African wildcats are expert killers. This acrobatic killer may be relatively small, but it's a feline force to be reckoned with. Coming up, how to tackle really big prey by working as a team. Lions bask in the midday sun saving their energy. They're sociable animals, living in prides of around 20. A pride is made up of mainly females, with one or more male, and the bond between them is extremely strong. They may seem harmless relaxing in the grass, but these regal beasts are kings among Africa's killers.
if the opportunity arises, a hungry lion will take on prey in daylight. But these zebra are at little risk from a single lion. They bunch together in a maze of stripes, confusing the lion, or make a run for it. The lion can't sprint very far. She doesn't go for long before she gives up, exhausted. For a lion on its own, only one hunt in seven is successful. Hunting in pairs is more profitable. A family of warthogs with young piglets is a gift not to be missed. The pair crouch low in the grass, edging forwards. It's a team effort. run at a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour and with a far longer stride than the warthog they can't fail to catch their meal the juvenile warthog makes a tasty snack for the lions The more hunters, the better the chance of a kill. And the lions can tackle bigger prey. Working as a team, up to 50% of group hunts end in a kill. It's usually the females who do most of the hunting. One female weighs as much as two fully grown men. So a pride is a force to be reckoned with. A buffalo makes for a hefty meal. The lions follow a herd for long distances. Buffalo are dangerous. The lions' tactics are crucial. This is the feline hunter's front line. They move in, encircling the buffalo, and split the group. A buffalo is three times heavier than a lion and has deadly horns and sharp hooves that can inflict fatal wounds. Some of the lions attack from behind. Others distract the buffalo, keeping those piercing horns and hooves out of reach. Three topple the buffalo from the rear, while two grab the neck and muzzle and start to suffocate it. Super sensitive to the slightest vibration, the lion's whiskers tell them when their prey has stopped breathing and it's safe to let go. It can take up to 13 minutes for the buffalo to die. Lions mostly hunt at night. As darkness falls, we can't see much, but the lions can. They have astonishing night vision. To them, the grassland at night is clearly awash with prey. But for the prey, it's a world of confusion. Cat's eyes glow in the dark because the tapetum lucidum, a reflective layer on the back of the retina, acts like a mirror, bouncing light back to the optic nerve. So the retina absorbs every available bit of light in the pitch African night. Many animals have a similar reflective layer. The eyes of the zebra and wildebeest stand out like glaring beacons in the darkness. In the dark, Cats can see six times better than humans. They can also see in color, 
but mostly in blue and green. Cloaked in darkness, hidden among the long grass, the lions have the perfect cover and creep up on the herd. Spooked and unable to spot their assailants, the herd stampedes. Now they're just within striking distance, 30 meters away, and the lions charge and take down a zebra. Another day, and the lions are back relaxing in the grass, conserving their energy for another night of killing. Superb eyesight make lions the undisputed rulers of the savannah. This solitary cat is armed with all the tools of a feline killer. But unlike the lions, it doesn't rely on sight to track down its prey. And like many cats, its sense of smell isn't very good. Hearing is the serval's number one sense. Each ear is controlled by more than 20 muscles. They act like radar and move independently through 180 degrees, so one can point forwards while the other points back. The serval's ears are extra large and legs extra long to keep the ears above the grass. This helps it pick up the slightest noise anywhere in its territory. If a rodent makes the smallest sound, the serval can pick it up and home in on its prey. Striking with its feet, pinning down its victim, its sharp teeth inflict a lethal bite. The serval's ears catch sounds from all directions, including behind it. Its legs aren't the same length. The front ones are longer than the back ones, so it's sometimes known as the giraffe cat. This cat is a great jumper. The strong hind legs mean it can even catch birds in branches high above it.
efficient hunter, up to 60% of the serval's attempts end in a kill. From grasslands to the dense rainforest. If you live in the jungle, you need to be constantly on the alert for danger. But if you're a predator here, thick forest foliage means you must be an expert hunter. These peccaries forage for fruit among the leaf litter in the dense undergrowth. All seems safe. They're highly sociable creatures. Grunting isn't the peccary's only form of communication. They also release musk from scent glands on their backs. The scent is thought to help keep members of the group close together. Peccaries are always alert, ears and noses tuned to identify potential risks. But these hogs don't have good eyesight. A jaguar is three times the weight of an adult peccary. And it has all the tools it needs to hunt these pig-like beasts. Huge paws strong muscular limbs and sharp teeth. It's a formidable hunter. And it has the strongest jaws in relation to head size of any feline. So how do you hide over 100 kilograms of big cat in the jungle? The jaguar's coat is its secret weapon. Strong rosette markings look like they'd stand out. But in fact, they break up the jaguar's outline. And in the dappled light and thick vegetation, this killer cat simply blends into the undergrowth. Stealth and surprise are its key techniques. grunting doesn't alert the jaguar's sensitive ears, its nose will pick up their pungent odor. It seems that this cat's sense of smell isn't good, but the peccary's musky scent is so strong it can't be missed. The jaguar stalks the herd silently, creeping ever closer. vital if the jaguar is to be successful. It's perfectly camouflaged in the thick foliage, and the peccaries are unaware of the impending ambush until this stealthy feline is right up close.
sensing that something is wrong, a peccary gets agitated. The jaguar explodes from its hiding place. The peccary's sharp tusks are no defense. The jaguar's too quick, and it brings the hog down. The jaguar gets its name from yawara, a South American Indian word meaning a beast that kills its prey with one bound. It's a very accurate description. The stalk then pounce approach is tried, tested and successful. The jaguar really is a top jungle predator. Next, a high-speed killer and a solitary stalker, master of stealth and surprise. The marge spends most of its time in the jungle canopy. You'd think the treetops would be safe from predators at night. But while many animals sleep through the darkness, the marge is out hunting. It's most active between 1 and 5 in the morning. It pads silently through the forest on broad, soft feet. This cat is built to kill in the treetops. Its exceptional climbing abilities make it one of the canopy's most frightening predators. It has extraordinarily flexible back feet and can rotate them through 180 degrees. Its paws are so mobile the marge can even hang from a branch by one back foot. The marge's heavy tail is 70% as long as its body. It's a very useful counterweight when this cat's balancing in the branches. Unlike other cats who reverse down tree trunks, the marge's sense of balance is so good, it descends head first, like squirrels do. Marge's have superb night vision, and in the darkness, this cat's whiskers, or vibrissae, really come into their own. They're highly sensitive, and aren't only on their cheeks, but also on their lips, chin, and eyebrows. They're deeply embedded in the skin, directly connected to nerve endings, and transmit information straight to the brain. So even in the pitch black, the marge can feel its way through the branches. This jungle gymnast is quick, agile, and able to navigate at night through the densest forest, so even birds as big as toucans aren't safe from the marge. Back in the African grasslands, there are plenty of prey and lots of feline predators. Here, there are few places for a big cat to hide, and the prey can run incredibly fast.
But the cheetah is the fastest cat on earth and the fastest killer on land. It can run at a top speed of 112 kilometers per hour and must catch its prey in under a minute or give up the chase. But how does it do it? Virtually every part of a cheetah's anatomy is designed for high-speed killing. Dark stripes underneath the eyes reduce glare from the bright sunlight, so it sees clearly when hunting under a burning sun. All cats' eyes are on the fronts of their faces and sport the best binocular vision of all carnivores so the cheetah can judge both distance and speed accurately. It's perfectly built for sprinting, and there's a reason. One of its main prey species is the gazelle, the next fastest animal on the savannah. These antelopes are built to avoid being killed. They can reach over 80 kilometers per hour, and they're very agile. Black stripes on their flanks break up their outline and confuse predators scanning for them from a distance. But the light-sensitive cells in a cheetah's eyes are concentrated in a horizontal band. This super-sharp zone allows it to detect prey moving along the horizon. The cheetah has a lean frame, light bones, and a small head in proportion to its body. It's streamlined for sprinting. It also has disproportionately long legs. Extended lower leg bones allow a faster stride rate so it covers distance with each pace. A sprinting cheetah is almost flying. Half the time, it has all four feet off the ground. Its power is in its back legs. They're significantly longer than the front ones. At high speed, traction really matters. Fortunately, its paws are ridged like car tires, and unlike other cats, its claws don't retract. Instead, they grip the ground like running spikes. The cheetah's tail acts as a rudder. It's about 60% as long as its body, and heavier than any other cat's tail. In sharp turns, the tail acts as a counterweight, balancing the cat as it changes direction. The gazelle runs in a zigzag path. It's even quicker than the cheetah on the turn but the cheetah is the only predator that can outrun it. Its spine is like a coiled spring. As it uncurls, the cheetah throws its legs out full length, propelling itself forwards. Loose vertebrae and a highly flexible backbone give extra length to each bound. The cheetah has unusually large lungs and short, extra-large nasal passages to inhale the maximum amount of air. It also has a big heart which speedily pumps the oxygen to its limbs. During peak performance, the cheetah's breathing rate climbs from 60 to 150 breaths per minute. However, this high-speed cat has one design fault. As it runs, its body temperature climbs to the danger limit. When the cheetah's running flat out, it generates an enormous amount of heat. So its core temperature rises from 37 to a colossal 40.5 degrees centigrade. More than a minute at this temperature, and the cheetah's brain will be damaged. So, after only 300 meters at top speed, the cheetah must always give up the chase. If it didn't, it would fatally overheat. It can only sprint for about a minute. After that, the gazelle gets away. So about half of the cheetah's chases are successful.
It may be the fastest killer on land, but the cheetah starts its hunt in slow motion, stalking. The stalk is just as important as the sprint. It creeps to within 50 meters of its victim. Only then does it accelerate in for the kill. So the sprint is as short and fast as possible. Cheetah is the ultimate sprinter. Its permanently primed claws swipe the gazelle's back legs from under it, and the race is over. The cheetah will pause to cool off and regain its strength before eating its prize. While the cheetah rests, a leopard walks through the grass, uninterested in the prey around it. The leopard flips its tail back to reveal the white underside and holds it up high, a sign to prey that it's not hunting. So they carry on grazing in peace. Leopards are tree dwellers. They spot their prey from the branches and return there to devour it. When darkness falls, the leopard climbs down ready to hunt. This master of stealth is solitary and secretive. The leopard is a true ambush hunter. It creeps as close to its unsuspecting prey as possible, then pounces. For all cats, stalking isn't learned. It's instinctive. leopard stalks slowly and carefully, attuned to every action. It delicately places each front foot to avoid rustling the vegetation or snapping a twig. Then, with incredible accuracy, it brings its hind foot forward and places it in exactly the same spot its forepaw just left, guaranteeing silent progress. Eyes locked onto the prey, the leopard crouches, its head and body low to the ground. Like most cats, it dispatches its quarry with a suffocating bite to the throat.
stealthy, solitary assassin, the leopard is perfectly designed for stalking. Once it's killed, the leopard uses its superb climbing skills to store the prey well out of reach of scavengers. For its weight, it's the strongest climber of all the big cats. Powerful head and neck muscles allow it to carry prey weighing as much as itself up a tree. And this strategy works. Lions will try to steal prey from other big cats, sometimes without success. Strength, agility and silence are the trademarks of this big cat. If you wanted to design the perfect stealth attacker, you design a leopard. Next on Built for the Kill, the biggest cat on earth, the most powerful killer of them all. Tigers are the largest and heaviest cats in the world. They're built for power. India's king of cats, the male Bengal tiger, can weigh a colossal 250 kilograms. Huge paws swipe prey down. Powerful jaws armed with enormous dagger-like canines make this tiger one of Asia's biggest predators. The tiger's stripes are like human fingerprints. No two coats are alike. But the bright orange and black markings don't give it away. Like the jaguar, the broken outline blends into the trees so it's virtually invisible to the prey it's hunting. Hanuman langurs live in troops of up to 70 and spend more time on the forest floor than most monkeys. But this puts them at risk from this regal killer. Sensing danger, the langurs leap back into the trees. A short dash, and the last one on the ground is grabbed by the tiger's huge paws. Asian killer larger than a Bengal tiger is its Siberian cousin. It weighs in at 300 kilograms and can be nearly as long as a family car. This huge cat is the largest land carnivore alive today. The Siberian tiger is big for a reason. Its massive build, heavily muscled forelimbs and shoulders give it enormous strength so it can capture large prey. Soft fur on its feet muffles its tread. And the five claws on each foot are attracted, keeping them sharp for the kill. Its stripes are paler than its Indian cousins and break up the tiger's outline among the bare trees in the freezing Siberian winter. The tiger is a patient hunter, stalking its prey silently through the snow for up to 30 minutes. Once it's really close, the tiger rushes in for the kill.
The foreshortened skull increases the lethal crushing power of its jaws. The fatal bite is delivered to the back of the neck. Huge canines, ten times the length of ours, snap the spinal cord. Giant rear carnassial teeth slide past each other to grip and rip flesh off the bone. And raised papillae on the tiger's rough tongue rasp the remaining meat from the carcass. After eating up to a sixth of its body weight in one go, it won't need to hunt again for another five days. All tigers are perfectly designed predators. Their massive bodies are well camouflaged. Huge paws carry dagger-sharp claws, and their jaws deliver a powerful killing bite. Cats are calculating killers. With powerful limbs, razor-sharp claws, camouflage coats, and jaws packed with deadly teeth. Add their unrivaled hunting techniques, speed, stealth, agility, and surprise, and it's clear that cats are truly built for the kill.